Morning everyone, so today it's gonna be a pretty savage one. Let's crack on. As you can see on here, on my training peaks, um, Mark, my coach, has added in today uh, what he's calling a mega duathlon. Which, when I saw it, I was like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> so, we've got three bikes and three runs. I go through each of these different sessions. I probably will be doing it all on Zwift instead of being outside. I would have really liked to have gone up to the Odd Down Race Circuit, which is where me and Lizzie did the run session that I videoed the other day. Um, but it's, it's horrible outside. I still need to check if the treadmill actually works because I haven't even plugged it in yet, so it might be broken and I might have to do the running outside, but we will see. Anyway, without any further ado, let's crack on with this. So the first bike, as you can see, 10 minutes nice and easy. And then I've got three sets of eight minutes at 88 to 94% left TP, and then two minutes zone two, so that's kind of like a sweet spot. Um, so if we go over there, it's going to hold me between 300 and 321. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, the first run off the bike, straight into two kilometers at target half marathon pace. 90 seconds jog, one kilometer at target pace. 90 seconds jog, 0.5 at uh, target pace. About 530 to 537 minute miles. We'll see how that goes. I, I don't actually know what that is in kilometers. 325 to 330 per kilometer pace. Um, I think that should be all right. We'll see. I mean, my running hasn't been insane at the minute, but we'll just see see how the body feels. Then we'll hop straight back onto the bike. We're doing five sets of three minutes, 80% FTP. So kind of like zone three, yeah, 273 watts. And then one minute, 50%, um, just nice and easy spin. That could be quite hard after that run session. So that's gonna be interesting. Second run off is just three kilometers easy off the bike. I'm gonna make sure I take that nice and easy. I do not want to go too hard. Uh, the third bike is three sets, one minute at FTP, five minutes at 88 to 94, um, and then three minutes. So it's basically, yeah, one minute FTP, straight into five minutes at sweet spot. And then I got three minutes in between. So that could be pretty nasty. One minute, so it's gonna hold me at 341. And then, yeah, the five minutes between 300 and 320. And then the third run, the final run, I'm gonna be really bloody tired. Uh, three by 1K at threshold pace. And he's suggesting 514 minute mile. So that is about 315-ish per kilometer pace. Um, so that is quite hard. We're gonna see how the day goes. It's about two and a half hours. But first, we need some breakfast. Truth with the treadmill. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. Bob the Builder here helping. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've taken it apart. I've realized that this bit is actually okay, but it's just the cable going up from here that's not switching this bit on. I did take a video of what I did to unplug it, and there's a bit in here, so we won't be able to see that. There's a cable in here that I haven't plugged into the circuit board, so. Bob the Builder's it. done it. Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, it's working, which is all good, so. How old does this shit look? But it's like, well, this is 15 years old, this machine. <laughs> yeah, this thing's pretty battered and pretty bru bruised. Um, like I said, I want to run outside as much as, as possible, get to know the area, but also like I find running outside is just better for my technique and overall running. Um, the reason why I want to do it inside today though is one, the weather's terrible, and two, it's quite like, 
a solid session and we live on a hill and so running off the bike into like half marathon pace on a hill in the wet just does not sound fun at all <laughs> and there would just be a massive contrast between like heat in here and then freezing cold and rain outside and it just be like two and a half hours of that I think would just be grim. It's not working but <laughs> we have to work out <laughs> the reason why it's wobbling. Obviously it's because one of the legs is too short, uh, this one, but none of the spanners that I've got in my toolbox are big enough to extend the leg down. So I think in the meantime, I'm just gonna have to jam something underneath it and hope that it's sort of thick enough. Got a TT bike out because I wanna do a little bit of position stuff. I'm um, gonna try and ride in position as much as I can. Uh, Swift setup. I'm not gonna use Swift on the run. I'm just gonna kind of go by the treadmill's pace. Now I don't know how legit it is. Like it's there and about, but it's not super accurate. More of the running is just gonna be going by feel, to be honest, and kind of getting in the ballpark of that the sort of pace that has been set. As you can see, though, wearing my nice T3 tri suit, it is feeling bloody tight right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Definitely, uh, yeah, feels a lot tighter than it used to. That's for sure. <laughs> But um, but no, because, um, well, Mark's called it the Mega Duathlon, so I'm gonna dress like I'm in a duathlon. I look like a right child. Got the treadmill set to 340 per bolt pace. See how that goes and then hopefully build up to 330, 325 then. Crack off. Right, that is done and done. Uh, the last two were at 315 pace, which was it did get pretty hard actually towards the end, but it felt like it kept it pretty controlled and pretty consistent as well, uh, which is nice. This one has occasionally been coming down when she hasn't been watching Vampire Diaries. Oh. What'd you say about that? Oh my God. What'd you say about that? That's all she does, all day, every day. I'm in trouble. <laughs> wow, that was pretty tough. Um, but I actually really loved it as well at the same time. Um, and it just goes to show, like, I know a couple of people getting quite bummed out about races being postponed and cancelled early on in the season. I think it was inevitable, really. Like, early on this season, nothing's really going to be the same, but I, I'm positive that the latter half of the season um, will be, you know, a lot better. There will be a lot more races, I'm hoping. Um but this, something like this just goes to show that like, you don't have to actually have races in the calendar. Um, you can just plan your own races. Like, just put in, you know, and, and train for it like you would any race. I didn't actually train for this because I didn't actually know I was going to have it. But um, I actually quite enjoyed that, like, not knowing it, having it sprung upon you. Like, oh, damn. Like, it's just something different, different kind of stimulus. Gets you excited. Um, gets the adrenaline going. Plan your own individual races, you know, like your own time trials, your own duathlons your own, you know, do power testing on the bike, stuff like that, stuff that's going to be a little bit more interesting. Um, yes, it sucks that there's not going to be a load of races early on this season, but you can still make a lot from it and you can still plan your own exciting individual races, really. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.